is not down at some club. No, yeah. no. no. When, when this text opened, he, he's not in the mall shopping. All right. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, when the text opened, uh-huh. he's not gone on a vacation. Yeah. Right. Paul is in prison. Yeah. 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 He's in jail. Yeah. He's not now visiting a relative that's in jail. All right. He's a prisoner. Uh-huh. Right. He's not just in prison, but he's on death row. Death row, dog. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's there. He's waiting. There. Wait. He got an appointment with Nero's guillotine. Yeah. Right. He will soon be laid out of the right. prison right. cell, hand tied behind yeah. his back, right. laid over on a guillotine, and a uh, heavy yeah. blade drawn up in there, let it down and cut his head off. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Paul is not worried about that. Ah, He's not afraid. Yeah. Yeah. He's not scared. He's facing death. Ah, But he has concern and love for the church and God's people. He knows he's not going to be on the scene. Ah. But he had a dairy hood, I mean, a Timothy. Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Come on, now. Teaching and grooming him yeah. to follow in his footsteps uh-huh. once he go off the scene. Uh-huh. Can I ask somebody? Talk, dog. How are you going to sit in prison knowing that your life is about to be snatched from you uh-huh. and you worrying about what's going on with somebody else? Uh-huh. Got him, man. I, I can't really say that Paul was black. Oh. <laughs> I can't really say that. But because of the fact that if he had been black knowing that life was short, he wouldn't be concerned about the church. Yeah. My Lord. And the reason I say that, some folks end up in here and you ain't on death row. He <laughs> don't tell nothing about the church. Son in the ministry, Derrick Hood. I mean, Timothy. 
And he says to Timothy, I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. He says to him, preach the word. Preach the word. Reverend, if you want to continue to make me proud of you, preach the word. Preach the word. Yes, sir. Don't, don't be up in here playing. Don't be up here clowning. My, my, my. Yes, sir. Let me tell y'all, preach what I heard the other day. Talk. I heard the other day that a preacher don't clown. That a clown don't preach. All right. <laughs> Woo! You stand in this poor pit. Yeah. Don't play up here because this is not a place to play. Right. If you ever been serious when you stand here, be serious. Be serious. He says to him, Timothy, I'm, 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 I'm leaving here, but I need you to preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Let me tell y'all what some folks will do to it. When we stand here, pastoring, and, and we not worked all week to get a sermon together, we, 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 we not sweat it, we not uh, going uh, the midnight hour, stand up to get a sermon together, and then we come to church and somebody make us mad or upset, and then uh, we'll stand there and say, well, let me find our exit. Because these Negroes don't want to hear me. Right. Paul said. What did he say, Doc? Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. When they want to hear you. Yeah. And preach it when they don't want to hear you. Because yeah. you're not preaching to please folk. You're preaching. Because somebody ought to know I wish I had some preachers on my side. You can't please folk. All the time. Right. Paul says preach the word in us now. When they want to hear you, when they don't want to hear you. But then, this is where I'm going to be in that third verse. He says, so the time will come when they will not endure a sound doctrine. I hear you change the gear, man. That's how they own us, heaping up themselves, teachers. Having itching ear. It's a bad Yeah. Because I get ready to get out of here. When a person is sitting in a good Bible base, Sound doctrine truth. Yeah. And then they get all upset and get mad. <coughs> and go to a church that don't have no foundation. My Lord. Go to a church where the doctrine is not sound. Yeah. That they are just preaching in it and everything. It's a bad omen for you to leave a good church. Yeah. And go to a church that hadn't been started up for about two or three months. Yeah. Right. It's a bad omen when you can leave a good church and go to a church where the pastor is not preaching sound doctrine. Yeah. My, my, my. Paul was so concerned knowing that he wouldn't be around. He wanted to make sure that Timothy would be on the right track. Yeah. 